First, actually, like, thank you for taking a little bit of time to talk about the movie. Uh, I got a lot to talk about. As you can see right here, I have uh, the, the Puerto Rican flag. And yeah. I went, yeah, I, 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 I'm glad that you're excited. And I had to ask, because I wouldn't forgive myself, I didn't ask, how was it, you know, well, recording two movies, not just one, the two of them were recorded back to back, I remember. So how was it recording in this humidity, in, 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 in this beautiful island? How was your experience? Did it treat you bad? Let me know, because I, I can move stuff around here. I will, I will tell yeah. them, hey, when <laughs> Kelly comes back, you better be, be good to her. So tell me uh -huh. how it I appreciate that. No, I love Puerto Rico. I loved everything about it. I love the culture and the people and the environment. And anytime I can be near the ocean, even if I don't get to get in it because I'm working too hard, it just makes me happy. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm part mermaid. So if I can be near the sea, it just is like, uh. but yeah, I loved Puerto Rico so much. And I love being warm. I don't like being cold. And just I just think everyone was so friendly and caring. And yeah, everything about Puerto Rico, I'm a fan. That's good. That's good to hear. That. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. You, you had fun in here and you were able to enjoy our island. So thank you for that. Um, let's talk about the movie um, Action Pack. The first two, I mean, all, both of them are really action packed. And I, I think the action movies tend to, tend, you know, the actors need to be more, more prepared for them. You need to be physically prepared, you need to be mentally prepared. How did you get, drop yourselves on your character? How did you prepare yourself for, you know, doing two movies, you know, getting, you know, preparing yourself physically and mentally for both of them. What was your routine? What, what, what did you have to do? Okay, so I, as far as like action, I live fit all the time. Like it is literally part of my life. I'm like competition ready every day of my life. And so it's so much fun to be able to jump into a role where that's highlighted, right? Where it's like, oh, this makes sense. Well, this is who you are, this is how you are, this makes sense, right? And so I love, action is my favorite just because of that. And I always do my own stunts. I'm like, you can't double me. I'm doing my own stunts. <laughs> so anyway, I really, really enjoyed that. And the stunt team was incredible to train me um, in the choreography and all of that. Um, they're some of my faves. And actually, you know, stunt teams are always the unsung heroes, right? Because they just take all the hits and um so and this was no exception but they were so awesome too i got raul stunt coordinator's number and every time i had a break every time there was a lunch break or anything i was like can you work with me and he would help me you know just honing specifics and that kind of thing um so yeah and then the rest of the role i think it was just so fun because i got to play a double agent and so it's like multiple lives in one that's what film is it's like you get to live other lives within your one lifetime and this was like multiple lives within the same film <laughs> so yeah it was it was exciting and I think it was a fun process and I it had it made me really be on point because not only the action but the kind of dual different you know personalities and so when you walk on set films aren't filmed in sequence so you have to be like okay so today where am I in the script you know which which part am I playing right now so yeah it was fun it was a good challenge I think you do, I mean, everybody there did a great job at, at, I mean, I think the second movie was so good because you weren't, no, you weren't expecting anything. You wouldn't know what to expect, you know, where the story was going to go when, you know, when the first one ended. So I, I think I, I have one, one more question before, uh, before, after this one. So what can people maybe expect? People, a lot of people that when they, when I told my, my followers that I was seeing the movie, they were all like, oh, I saw the first one. I remember seeing, you know, people around when they were recording it. So I'm excited for the second one. What can people expect from the second one? Because there's a bunch of surprises and there were some, you know, scenes that you were going to go, okay, oh, uh -uh, wow. So what can people expect from it? Uh, well, I mean, you don't want to have too many expectations because I want you to be surprised. So I don't want to like fulfill that for you, but <laughs> I tell you too much. But um, I think so it's actually super intriguing. And I think there's definitely the dynamic of the complete surprise, which I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> but as characters, we kind of got to be sort of more authentically, you know, I'm double agent in the first one, I move into kind of authentically being more grounded in the second film and, you know, developing like a relationship and mm -hmm. all these other things. And then there's kind of that next level of, um, drama when now you have you know love interests and then you have danger and then you have all these unexpected dynamics and sort of people returning from the grave and you know just like all these things where you're like omg what just happened and so yeah it was definitely it's a whole thing and then you know um well i don't know what i should say because i want everyone to watch it but yes there were de there was all just masterfully played roles by certain characters that I'm not going to tell you came back and um 
And it was just, it, I love films that make you think, right? Where they make you have that internal dialogue and that quandary of, you know, what, who's who, what's what, what do I actually think? What is the moral dilemma, you know? And it's good. It, it's really good at that. You know, you just sit there and like, do you love him or do you hate him? <laughs> so, yeah. This season, this, this, uh, this the Tango movie has a lot of uh, family in it. I mean, there's a lot of heart in family. I, I wonder, um, what did what were you able to take away from that side of the drama of the of the story? I think because I absolutely love when the family came in. Obviously, it plays another role, you know, it adds a lot of layer to the story. But it also, you know, it down something. I, you know, it makes us think, like you just said. So, what were you able to learn from, you know, the whole dramatic side of the story? Mm -hmm. um, I think you know something that has always mattered to me, but you know, family matters, and I think anytime when you get in a situation where you're evaluating, you know, what, what really does matter? Like when it all boils down to it, like what matters? It's not, you know, all, like I like to joke about first world problems. People are worried about, you know, their coffee or their nails that broke or whatever, you know, just silly things. But like when it, when the rubber meets the road, like what are the important things? Mm -hmm. And your know, family is one of those. And what are you going to fight for? What will you live and die for? And, you know, living those moments where you think about those things is really grounding. So, yeah, I think, I think there was that element. Yeah, I had to mention that because aside from the action, I mean, the, the movie is really balanced between everything. So I absolutely love, and I think everybody did a great job. So I commend you for that. One final question before I let you go, because I got I to gotta ask, mm -hmm. you were three movies, uh, you know, back to back with uh, Bruce Willis. Um, what, maybe what can you tell us that we don't know about him already? And why were you able to grasp from him? Because I imagine that working, my, just so you know, my father just, just looks just like him. It's like, he's like a uh -huh. So, I mean, it's like, I, I, so, so, I gotta find a way to get, get them all together, the both of them together to take a picture. So, but why were you able to, you know, learn from him or what can you tell us that we don't really know about him, even though he's a legend, obviously. Yeah, well, I think, you know, what people don't see is who he is off camera. Like, obviously he's a legend, he's incredible, he's an amazing actor, like he has this crazy, amazing career for decades. Um, and, you know, I think what makes somebody the most amazing is who they are for real, right? Who are you as a person? And I think that's what I love the most about working with Bruce was just like who he was as a person, like our interactions off camera, like before we walked into a scene, talking about the scene and just having very real human um, moments and interaction and just him caring about the people that were around and, you know, those kind of things. I think like when you have a legend who's also a great human, it's, mm -hmm. So much better. I, I I love your answer because I think I think that's like when I when I want people to feel see the human side of a Bruce that we don't get to see uh, you know all the time. So I'm I'm I thank you for that the answer again, Kelly. Congratulations on the on the both of the awesome movies. So I, I hopefully we can see more. And obviously, if you're ever down here, let me know. You know, I make hey. sure that that, <laughs> that you, you know they they, they they treat you well. And I'll, I'll, I have connections in here. Don't worry about it. I have okay. connections in here. Okay. Kelly, thank you. Uh, that sounds good. <laughs> thank you so much.